you know, every change that was ever made was once, you know, said that it, it couldn't happen. And it took people, specifically young people, standing up and saying, this is necessary, we must do this, for everyone else to kind of buy into that and for that cultural shift to happen. I think that young people now are becoming more aware of the climate crisis in a way that's a little bit more concrete. And so we're really starting to see and understand how the climate crisis is going to affect our futures and our lives now and you know down the line. And I think given how much is now, you know, it's being talked about and just how much more like science is available to the public around this issue. I think people are starting to really understand and it's becoming less abstract that the climate crisis, if not addressed, will create detrimental issues to the world that we don't even, you know, we can't even begin to understand as of now. And so I think young people are really scared, honestly. And I think people also are really beginning to understand the threat, you know, the, the personal threat to their lives, their families' lives, their children's lives. Lives. And so they're really kind of stepping up and, and hearing that call. I think it's going to be really important that world leaders hear the call from young people and really take it into account in their own decision making. I think that, you know, when it comes to world leaders, I think that people are lacking courage a little bit to sort of stand up and say, this is something that we need to prioritize and we need to take radical and bold action on. And I think that they need a little bit of a nudge. That needs to just be met with, you know, when you look at history, everything that was worth doing was once said to be impossible. You know, every change that was ever made was once, you know, said that it, it couldn't happen. And it took people, specifically young people, standing up and saying, this is necessary, we must do this, for everyone else to kind of buy into that and for that cultural shift to happen. A lot of the solutions for the climate crisis exist, and a lot of them have yet to be created. And so I think, you know, there is a space for activism and for organizing for young people to really plug into the grassroots nature of the movement and really help bring it to the forefront of the public mind. But in the years and decades to come, when we start to have that cultural and political shift, there will be a need for, you know, these innovative solutions. You know, when it comes to environmental science, environmental engineering, like all of those things are gonna be so key and making sure that we have the knowledge and the resources available to address the, the size and scale of the crisis. Yeah.